Hey everyone, welcome to Sagas of the Shimmering Sea. This is the show, The Chosen Few. This is our new time slot. We have moved time slots to be more convenient for ourselves. That is a thing that we can do, and we do it. Um, because believe it or not, we want this to be convenient for ourselves. Uh, yeah, we had a, a pretty dramatic and exciting game last time. We, we successfully won the gauntlet as a team, uh, killing our mirror robot selves. Um, which I was very pleased with and thought had a, a, a fair bit of emotional resonance for, for most of you. Um, I feel like there was some degree of satisfaction in defeating yourselves, um, or, or, or in some cases, defeating that other really annoying character that you've wanted to punch in the face for, you know, however many episodes we've been going for this. Uh, and it was pretty, pretty spectacular, and uh, we won. So, rah rah team. Uh, unfortunately, after that, uh, we discovered a couple things. Uh, one, uh, Kasher, the ambassador from the Kaba, and probably one of the largest architects towards peace, uh, has been assassinated. That just sucks. So, let's, uh, let's dive on in. We have a couple things to go through bookkeeping-wise. Let's do level up stuff and belief simultaneously. So, you tell me what you got on this level up, and you tell me what your beliefs are. And we're going to go around in a circle going counterclockwise. So, Selexa, you are first. Okay, um, so this was not a super, this is a good but not super exciting level up. Um, finally got uh, an ability score increase. So, um, her, so Selexa um, just maxed out her charisma. Always good. Out of yeah. curiosity for my own sake, if no one else's, was this an ability score increase from hitting level four of uh, Warlock or of Bard? Bard. Excellent. Yeah. So here, good to know. Sounds good. And um, and then um, let's see. Oh, for beliefs, right? Sorry, I kind of was thinking about these this morning. So um, let's see. So her belief number one uh, is that the news of Kasher's death uh, is leaving her feeling um, quite shaken. I think especially like coming from the super intense gauntlet and then kind of like the high of victory and then to just be kind of like like plummeted back down to earth with this um you know really kind of gruesome uh and foreboding news um really like i think is, is really shaken her up and probably you know she's probably not the only one um anyway so she is determined to use whatever means she has at her disposal to solve his murder uh, and then for the second belief, um, she did, you know, uh, I guess Selexa felt like running the gauntlet wasn't just about like defeating the gauntlet. It was kind of also about um, uh, making an impression. Uh, and um, so she, she wants to take advantage of that. Um, and she's not sure who exactly to, to seek out, but it seems like one person to talk to might be um, Oceana, who uh, seems like um, she might have access to like a community that we ha don't really like haven't really touched on yet mm -hmm. um, and maybe some people who would be able to help us in the other stuff that we're doing so she wants to talk to Oceana. That sounds like a great idea. Mm -hmm. uh, following my own pattern, Caliban, you are up next. Hello, everybody. Um, so, uh, I level up as well. Um, surprise, surprise. Uh, and in, in cleric, just going straight cleric, and um, uh, that gives me fourth level spells. Um, fourth level spells are some of them are really good. Some of them are like, all right, but I do get banishment, so I'm very happy about that. Um. And I didn't really know about Aura of Life as a spell, and that is a wonderful spell, mm -hmm. uh, and one that I will almost certainly be preparing a lot, because I don't like people going down and then me having to take time to like heal them. They can just heal themselves if they're in the Aura. It's great. Um, uh, and um, in addition, I got hit points. That's it. Um, but it's, it's great. More spell spells. Yeah. And spells. Every, every time you gain a new level of spells, it is like getting a new class ability, basically. So, you know, I get it. Keep going. Uh, beliefs. Uh, 
yeah, beliefs. Um, keep in mind, guiding light, um, the same. Um, belief is number one. Um, uh, Caliban believes that if the party can single-handedly solve Kasher's murder, uh, they'll rise quickly in the eyes of the Accord and its people. So Caliban will work together with the other party members to determine who killed Kasher and why. And um, is I, I didn't put this in the writing of the belief, but is going to probably try to uh, make it so that the party is really in the upper hand here. Like, really keep an eye out for other characters who might be trying to do the same thing and make sure that we have the first word. Mm -hmm. um, and um, then Caliban's been thinking a lot about his mom. Uh, he's going to reach out to her again um, after uh, a day of sort of drinking and regret and see if he can feel a little bit better about uh, how she's doing and try to figure out what the heck is actually going on. Sounds good to me. I'm excited. Well, that brings us around to Nova. Um, well, uh, I'll start with my beliefs. Um, my guiding light's the same. I'm going to throw myself into danger to protect my friends. Mm. Uh, my belief one is that I'm still unnerved by the mind-controlled creatures, and I'm going to try to investigate Vrecha, uh, further aided by Thea. And then my belief two is I developed kind of a sort of affection towards the little girl at the fighting ring, and I'm going to act as her mentor and teach her sword fighting. They're going to teach the girl sword fighting? Yeah. That's so great. Um, and you've go over, gone a little bit of a character overhaul, yeah? We've, we've decided that certain things weren't working and we're changing other things? Yeah, um, I had taken champion, uh, or um, not champion, I'd taken cavalier, um, but I, I didn't end up ever using any of the, the perks of it, so I decided to switch to uh, battle master. Yeah, I'm actually... Um, cool. Movers and I took uh, Brace, Menacing Attack, Parry, Repost, and Studious Eye. Mm. Sounds great to me. Totally down. Um, and what did you get from your level up? Um, for my level up, one of the things I got was the seventh level of Battle Master, mm. which is um, I can study an enemy and know like kind of how their stats compare to mine. Sounds good. That's very useful in a game like this. Yeah. So. It's good to be able to look at someone and say, I can, I can take him, or I can't take that guy. So, very useful. I like it. Cool. Timothy, you are up. Okay. All right. So Timothy leveled up, and he got a new ranger perk. Um, I took, is I think I took Escape the Horde, which means um, attacks of opportunity have disadvantage against me. So I'm thinking I'm maybe... Get out I of yeah, I might get a little bit more up close and personal with, with, with people then, if that's the case. Um, and I also uh, I also get a new spell, which I'm still kind of sussing out, but I, I, I kind of feel like I'm, I'm going to play a, a curveball here. I'm thinking of taking protection from poison mm. um, because I think... I feel like there will be some assassinations via poison. I, th I just think it, it, it's going to be clutch, just you know, one time. You have no reason to think that there might be assassinations via poison at all. None, none, none whatsoever. So. None whatsoever. You definitely no. aren't working on secret information. No. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, interesting, cool. And uh, my beliefs, uh, I'm keeping my guiding light, uh, abhorring loss of innocent life and whatnot. But belief number one, uh, Timothy has been arrested on suspicions of being a spy several times in his life. He will act quickly and decisively to show that he and his friends had nothing to do with Kashir's death. Um, and number two, Timothy wants to make sure that the people of Chalestra are okay. He will approach the Grand Accord and the Kava and try to convince them to drop aid. I like it. Cool. I'm down. Uh, excellent. And that brings us to Thea. Cool. Uh, so as a seventh level rogue, I got evasion. So I can nimbly dodge out of the way of certain area effects. That's cool. Nice. Uh, for my beliefs, my guiding light is the same. I'd like to kind of get closer to the team 
and kind of show my loyalty to them. Uh, for my first belief, I'm kind of going back to before the gauntlet times, bringing my attention back to the brain shrimp, trying to find a home for them, a willing home for them. And my second belief is I want to continue to investigate Recha with Nova. There you go. Works for me. Okay. So we're going to presume that everyone took a long rest because you all thoroughly needed it and woke up the next morning to the news. Um, the day dawns um, clear. Uh, it's quite lovely outside. Um, it's a little cool early in the day, but that's not uncommon for uh, an island and um, for the island here. And uh, it'll warm up relatively quickly. Um, the beaches are lovely and uh, a lot of the construction, the uh, buildings of various sort, seem to glow uh, and give off light in the sunlight. It reflects off it, like they sort of, it reflects wider than you would expect it to. Uh, and it looks quite lovely. Um, you are immediately persons of suspect. Um, you're not members of the Grand Accord, not officially. You are other people. And while no one from the Kava suspects you, um, the people of the Grand Accord are, shall we say, um, like they didn't know Kasher, so they don't really know, like the only people that they can think of that would want to assassinate him are, is there a possibility that there's political gain to be assassinated him within the Kaba? Would you have been working for a rival faction inside the Kaba and assassinated him? Or the other conflict he's in is with um, Chalestra. So from their perspective, those are sort of the two most likely places. Either it's internal to the Kaba, in which case you are suspects and also potential helps because you guys know the Kaba better than they do, or um, it is Chalestra. Those, those seem like the, the two obvious answers to that. Um, and so from that perspective, um, you guys are brought collectively um, before uh, a member of um, the Starlight Order, the Order of Starlight, um, to be interrogated. It's Roland Starbrand, uh, who you guys have obviously met before multiple times. Um, and so he gathers you, uh, but he puts you in his office. Um, there's a lot of uh, cordiality and respect being given here that probably wouldn't happen in all, in all cases. Um, but he puts you in his office and sits down behind his desk and looks at you all. And he says, my personal feelings aside, I do need to have this murder investigated. I need to know who did this. Kasher was under the protection of the Grand Accord and is dead. This does not bode well for us as an organization. The best thing for us is if we can find who did this quickly and arrest them. I agree. Yeah, I'm, I, absolutely. I'm, I'm so glad you brought us here to help. That's like... Smiles grimly and then says, <clears throat> there are some that point out that you have recently been to the Kaaba, and in most cases of murder, it is people that know the victim. Very few people know him here. So we have to examine two possible angles, the political and the personal. Um, if I may, uh, sir, um, would you, I mean, I'm sure we would be happy to undergo any um, sort of interrogation, investigation, any searches of our rooms, anything that uh, you might see fit. Uh, to prove us uh, as innocent as we are so that we can go about our hopeful business of finding the real uh, 
perpetrators a uh, little less checked than we might if we just go about it immediately. Absolutely. <clears throat> Hesitate to ask this because it is such an affront to honor, but um, from that perspective, are you saying that you would willingly subject yourselves to the interrogation of a truth spell? I am 100% okay with that. Go ahead, do the do the do the zone of truth, and here are my weapons. I'm just like I, I'm good. I'm done. I'm ready. I would be open to this. Um, yeah, yes. Um, Calvin nods and stays silent. Do the two of the them? Do the two of you speak for your entire party? And he makes eye contact with Celexa. Because he knows who Celexa is. <laughs> Just a little bit. Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess I'll answer a few questions. I, um, if you guys, like, I'm not just going to, like, say anything. But um, if you have specific questions about where we were or something like that, sure, that's fine. Just don't get creepy on me. Very well. Um, the fact that this is so easy to do, that you're so willing to do this collectively, already casts doubt upon those who would cast suspicion upon you. But uh, let us <clears throat> uh, let us adjourn to another room. Uh, I have someone there who can cast the spell. Um, and uh, he just guides you guys uh, to another room, and. Uh, opens the door and just inside. This is more clearly a prison cell, um, but uh, there's a person inside uh, wearing robes um, and uh, they are, um, it's, a, it's a dwarf um, and uh, clearly doesn't see a lot of sun. Um, like, like many dwarves, uh, this is someone from Abrock. And uh, uh, Roland looks at them and says, uh, Hitano, if you could, they have agreed to subject themselves to a truth spell. And uh, Hitano looks around and says, yeah, okay. Well, I will know if you try to resist. Um, Hitano, was it? Yes. Um, we won't resist. Or, I can only speak for myself, but um, uh, are you, uh, I'm sorry for uh, <laughs> asking a question of my own in what's I'm sure to be an interrogation, but uh, are, are you employed under the employ of, uh, of the Order of Starlight? Indeed. Um, wonderful. Um, great. Yeah. I want to push it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so he, you see that he's actually uh, wearing a pin on his uh, shirt. Um, it doesn't really fit, and it's sort of misaligned in some ways, like he put it in haphazardly. Um, but it's it's a, it's the symbol that is representative of the Order of Starlight. It's a relatively new symbol, because the Order of Starlight is a relatively new organization. But um, uh, you certainly can recognize it. It's a, it's a four strong points of a star, and then uh, two smaller ones in between each of them. Uh, just like a star, a star burst. Ooh. The Order of Starlight is a symbol of a Starburst? Who would guess? Um, and uh, so he looks around and he uh, encants a few words and gold light uh, just floods the room. Uh, is anyone going to attempt to resist this? Okay. Roland looks around and says... Were any of you directly involved in Kasher's murder? No. 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 Do any of you have any information directly pertaining to Kasher's murder? No. No. Not to my knowledge. Well, the Celestrans left last night, so, you know, that might be total coincidence. Probably just a total coincidence, you know. But. 
I know that. Have you, <clears throat> I want to word this carefully so that I'm not getting more information than I bargained for. Have any of you had any secret communications with anyone about anything that might have to do with the murder of Kasher? No. No? No. Uh, I'd prefer not to answer that. Alexa. You can understand how that would encourage me to have a follow-up question? Uh, well, just ask away. I'm here, aren't I? Is there a question that you would be more comfortable answering? That would get me the information I'm looking for. Hmm. I imagine that I don't know you guys necessarily incredibly well, but I do know the mission that you were sent on, and I know how well you guys reported yourselves there, and I can only presume that part of that had to do with your ability to deal in some degree of secrecy. It is not my desire to break or destroy or open up widely any of those secrets. My goal here is merely to determine your innocence of any involvement with Kasher and his death. The well, ambassador from the Cabal. Well, here, um, let, I can answer your question then. Um, no, unless you count um, you know, talking to people in a general way about those um, slimy, like, uh, Celestrians like Magli Black Ice and his toadies, uh, and trying to figure out what, what the hell they're up to. Um, that I'm, probably has something to do with, um, with uh, Kasher's death. So in that, in that sense, yes, I've had conversations with people. Otherwise, no. You hear from uh, the other side of the wall, are you satisfied, Roland? And it's Professor Retcha. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Roland looks around and says, uh, if you would all return with me to my office. Thank you, Hitano. And he nods at Hitano. So he turns and walks out and guides you back to his office. Uh, and this time, Professor Retcha is in there. Uh, and she looks around at you all and says, well, I'm glad we got that nonsense out of the way. This is the most trivially stupid thing ever. I cannot believe that the Grand Accord required us to do this. And Roland says, Professor, it certainly makes sense that they would want to be thorough and careful. Sure, I'm all a fan of thorough and careful, but look at these people. Look at these people and what they have done. There is no doubt in my mind that they are innocent of this baseless accusation. Th thank you, Professor. I'm, I'm glad that somebody here has confidence in us. Can I inside check that? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, is it only Recha, Roland, and Hitano that have seen us in this situation? Yes. Okay. Um, while we were in the interrogation oh, um, room, sorry, just for clarity, uh, a guard guards escorted you from your rooms to to Roland's office. Okay. And yeah. while we were in the interrogation room, mm -hmm. was there any sense that there were like more eyes watching us than just the three of you? Uh, yeah. Roll an inside check. I got a twenty. Yeah, she absolutely doesn't believe that you're guilty of this crime. And she thinks it's ridiculous that you're being investigated. Uh, and I got a, a 17. Yeah, definitely. Uh, there were other people on the si other side of the wall. There's like an invisible wall that you can't see. One-way glass or whatever. 
Sounds good. Um, so let's see. Uh, yeah, so you are clear um, of these charges. And uh, Roland uh, looks at you all and he says, um, and he says, uh, <clears throat> well, um, from that perspective, you all seem to know some of the players involved. Professor Recha has suggested that perhaps you all should investigate this happening. I believe we'd be up to that task, yes. I guess I've got nothing else going on today. Why not? That is good to hear. Pardon me, I'm going to shift positions, and I apologize. Um, I turn to, um, I guess, just the whole rest of the party and um, say, so we're in agreement that this is something to do with Macaulay Black Eyes, right? And more specifically, like, not just to do with him, but he probably, like, in some way ordered this or had someone involved that wanted to do this in his benefit, yeah? Uh, obviously. Okay, cool. Just making cards on the table, making sure. That being said, we cannot accuse a Celestrian governmental official without hard evidence. I can't give you the debt to government. It's fine. Um, sorry, excuse me. <laughs> you have to understand, and the position the Grand Accord finds itself in is one of some degree of difficulty. We cannot allow the murder of an ambassador to go unpunished, nor, though, can we willy-nilly accuse someone of causing this murder without, again, hard evidence for either option would shatter the rather fragile peace that we've been working so hard to build? Totally. Um, yeah, 100%. Do you have, so now that we're like, just making sure, absolved of guilt? Yes. Okay, great. Um, in that case, um, any information that you might have about who you might think has done it, um, what you think other people's motives might be, even if you have no hard evidence, um, that would be so, so helpful so that we can start from somewhere. I have a list of questions. Incredible. Uh, how did he die? Several sword slashes. If you'd like to investigate the scene, which is undisturbed as of now. Okay. Uh, when did he die? Around 3 a.m. last night. Oh, okay. Uh, where did he die? His room. His quarters here. Uh, who was the last to see him alive? That was me. Ah. Unless he had a manservant or such, um, that could be asked. I, I think he did actually. Um, so probably his his manservant. Okay. Did anybody else die? Any guards or? No. Who found him? Uh, his manservant um, or bodyguard. I'm a little bit uncertain how things work in the Kava. Uh, but uh, named Taj. Did did they did Taj um, find him like right away, or was it um, was it later? It wasn't until morning. Um, his <clears throat> cashier had mentioned that after how negotiations went yesterday, and with Chalester leaving, he was intending on sleeping in today. And so Taj found him when he realized that it was late even for Kasher to be sleeping in um, around 10 this morning. Mm. 
so the the three a.m. was just a um, uh, I don't know, just a good just a good medicine check guess. Yes. Okay. Made right. by Professor Roger over there. Can can we see the the, the site, the body? Sure. Okay. And um, yeah. And uh, with that, uh, he says, um, "This is a nightmare. I have a lot of duties." I know. No, to do. I know. Don't be scared. We're fine. Come on up. <laughs> okay, babe. You meet. Thank you. Um, we have a lot of um, <clears throat> political nightmares to deal with, and I have to be helping Ara right now um, with everything. Uh, so I'm going to place you in the hands of Hitano. Um, he is a member of the Order of Starlight, and uh, he will, um, with his authority, grant you access to anything that you might need. Hitano! And he calls and the dwarf walks in. Hitano, these few have elected to help us in our investigation. Um, they do not have authority. Uh, if you could lend them yours, that would be most helpful. Hitano nods and says, it would be my pleasure. Great, shall we head to the room where it happened? Sure, yeah, of course. Uh, come on. And he turns and starts walking away. Excellent. Murder mystery. Poor Casher. His poor husband, too. I wonder if he knows. Ooh, good point. Uh, I, yeah, actually, I wonder... Th this has not been publicized, right? Th this has not been printed? Oh, um, hasn't been printed in any newspapers yet, but uh, it will be soon. Um, the Kava is convinced that this was, uh, you know, Chalestra that did this, and so they have announced war. You, they, they re, they re-announced war, like. Well, well, originally the um, the war was one-sided. Chalestra declared war against the Kava, but now the Kava has declared war against Chalestra as well. Ah. Uh, it it will come out later today. There's no way to keep that secret. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Um, <clears throat> we've kept the uh, the uh, assistant here for questioning, but um, for now at least, uh, here's the room, and uh, he opens the door to the room. There's several guards outside, uh, and he like nods to them, and they look intimidated by him for some reason. Uh, and uh, he pops open the door and says, uh, "You can head on in, take a look around. If you need my assistance, let me know." So you head into the room, he is gorgeous, if a little bit um, exorbitant. Again, uh, Terravest uh, used to be like sort of, like before it was converted into the capital, it used to be Vegasy. So everything's like gold plated, but it's fake. There's, you know, a fountain in the room. Um, there's all sorts of just like, it's very, very fancy. There's, there's fake good art on the walls. Um, you know, it's all, it's all very overdone. Um, and fancy, and uh, lying on the bed um, is Kasher's rather enormous body. Oh, he's um, still here. Whoa. Yes, sliced open uh, in uh, maybe seven or ten slices just across him, um, and in a lot of ways. Yeah, it's it's pretty grotesque and brutal. Um. Has the body been preserved in any way? Mm. Uh, yeah, someone has cast uh, whatever that preserved body spell is. Great, um, excellent. Gentle repose. I was gonna, I was gonna do it myself if someone hadn't already. But no, yeah. you're covered. Awesome. Yeah. I'd like to examine the body. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what are you looking for? Um, I would like to see if uh, all of the slash marks were, seemed like they were made by the same weapon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Roll, roll in. Um, I'll allow investigation or medicine. Uh, and... mm 
And I'd like to add one of my superiority die. Please, feel free. Okay. So that's a 15. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, you're, you're pretty good at weapons in general. Uh, a substantive size two-handed longsword made, uh, if not all of these, sorry, a longsword held in two hands, uh, made if not all of these uh, slashes, certainly almost all of them. Um, certainly all the ones that are visible from, from just a cursory examination of the body um, and looking at the wounds that you see, two-handed longsword, slash marks, stab, the, um, slash marks in general. Okay. Not exactly the most uh, versatile murder weapon. No, it's kind of weird. Not easy to not easy to hide either. Not easy to hide. Not easy to just sort of walk around with a with like a long sword, and then uh, get up close enough to stab Kasher, who was knew how to fight, right? Um, in his youth, you you remember that he right. Was, we've, we've talked but, about that. Um, yeah, but uh, you know he's an ambassador, and he's 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 it's kind of a false staff figure. Like he knows how to fight, but okay. doesn't mean he's, like the best at it. Definitely not then. Okay, cool. Can I can I look at the uh, the wounds themselves and see if they were the cause of death or if there's something more to it here? Yeah, sure. Roll a medicine check. Um, medicine. I'm going to go ahead and since I have it, um, I'm going to use my good luck curio to give myself advantage on this. Sounds good. I'll break my good luck curio and find that I have rolled 24. A 20, oh, two twenty four. It's great. Nice. Um, yeah. So uh, examining the wounds closely, um, I'm I'm going to give you follow up questions because I think that's that's what we're going to do here. But to just kick us off. Um, you have, uh, you immediately recognize that uh, whoever did this uh, not only slashed this person, but also imbued their slashes with radiant damage. Which is not something you would necessarily expect. Um, certainly not in a case like this. Um, this was definitely uh, done, yeah, like with radiant damage. Um, I'm also with a 24 on a medicine check. Uh, I'm going to give you. Uh, Let's see, three follow-up questions. Uh, if you have any questions that you want to ask that a medicine check could answer, I will answer them. Yeah. Um, does the radiant damage seem deliberate? Like there was um, – like was there radiant damage added so that it would do more to Kasher, or was it just there? Interesting question. Like, is there something about Kasher's person that makes it so that radiant damage is is does more to him? Kasher is not undead, um, nor okay. is there anything about his person that would again. make radiant damage do more. Um, radiant damage okay. itself damages everyone, as you know from Sacred Flame, on uh, at the bare minimum. Yeah. Um, it may just have been the tool that the assassin had. Okay. Um... But um, I don't know if this is one of the questions, but to be clear, the mm. slashes killed Kasher. Yeah. Well, hard to, I mean, a slash plus radiant damage, if it's the same thing, right? If they're bundled, then. Right. That, that, that's what I mean. Like, yeah. the damage dealt from the weapon killed Kasher, yes. not some sort of no. asphyxiating poison attack. Okay. No. Um, okay. Great. Um, then. Um, I turn to other people as I'm like sort of wrist deep in one of these wounds. What do, what should I be looking for here? It, it seems like an odd choice for an assassin. Uh, would 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 your sword, Nova, m make a similar slash? Just I mean, just, just you know, just exhausting the the idea that they are setting they were trying to set us up, like. How many people use radiant damage, and how many people will carry a gigantic sword? Like, is is that in the realm of possibilities? Uh, I don't know. Um, my sword's significantly bigger, mm. 
and also does lightning damage. But that's not radiant damage. Mm, true, true. Well, hey, while we're here, uh, I and Timothy bends over and checks out Cashier's ears. Interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah, roll, roll a perception check. Okay. And so one of my other questions, and I'm going to be... Uh, do, does this space look like um, he uh, was surprised at this like what, what are what is his facial expression yeah um a look of total and complete shock um that came upon him suddenly almost as if he was stabbed while sleeping okay and then woke up to the stab and then was stabbed again and then died it seems like an obvious question but are there wounds in his in the front of his body yes um, although I will give you, actually, I'm going to give you, since you thought to ask, uh, and then on top of that, Timothy is looking at, uh, the ear, um, Kasha's tongue has been removed. Okay. As my third question then, mm -hmm. if I could, yeah. um, something I've been curious about for a long time and haven't really had the chance to in truly investigate is the Kivanian anatomy. Mm -hmm. Um, do I find anything that is truly distinct about the Kavanian anatomy in my sort of looking through the body, making it look like I'm looking at these in, at these wounds, but I'm really sort of doing a, a once over about the Kavanian anatomy? Absolutely, yeah. Um, let's see, Kavanians have two hearts. Okay. Um, one uh, in their chest. Uh, it's a little bit more close to the center than you would expect for um, for for us, like our, ours are, are slightly off left. Uh, and the other one, um, much lower, uh, and uh, in sort of the back, sort of uh, in the rump area. OK. Um, was he slashed in sort of like surgically in these places, or was he slashed more just sort of haphazardly? Um, he was definitely attacked in both these places. A hundred percent. Yeah, Nova. Um, is there uh, is there a reason that I can think of why the tongue would be removed? Like, does it have significance, or it, would it be like if someone were to bring him back from the dead? Like, would that make him not able to speak? It's so I can't question him really. Most likely. Okay. There, if you want to roll a history or Arcana check, uh, that could uh, give you more information. Uh, I can try. Hmm. Either of the, they would give you different information, just to be clear. I'll do this one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, sorry, to answer your question, um, Timothy, uh, with your perception check, uh, no sign of brain inf infestation at all. Uh, are there signs in the room of somebody breaking in? Yeah, roll an investigation check. Um, yeah, you don't see any signs in the room of, like, the window's not broken, the door's not broken, the lock's not broken. Nothing really seems uh, that disturbed. The carpet is not where it's, like, the, like there's a rug. Uh, not a carpet, but there's a rug, and it's, like, like, shifted slightly as if someone, like, stepped on it and wasn't put back. But that could have just as easily been cashier as someone else. Um, yeah. Okay. Does anyone have a high passive perception? Actually, let me raise it. Calvin, what's your passive perception? 23. Okay, uh, Caliban, you notice that there is a faint, faint, faint um, acrid scent in the air, um, almost like a, like a, like a, a little bit of smoke or something. Uh, is it sulfurous? Is no. it? It's more. It's just smoky. Do, can I pinpoint a a source, or is it just sort of lingering? It's lingering. It's definitely you. There's no source. The source or the okay. source is. If there was a source, the source is gone. Can I point it out to, or I'll I'll say, Selexa, do you smell that? Um, I don't know. Could be, like maybe a torch or something. It's. It seems like more sort of distasteful than that. 
Um, do do any of your spells or any anything any spells that you know of like smell like that? Any spells that I know of smell like that? All on our contract. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll take an I'll do an arcana check. Do you mind if we do separate ones, Matt? N not at all. Okay, great. I got a four. <laughs> uh, nope, don't know the spell. Okay. Uh, did the flash marks make like a big mess? Is there like a bunch of blood on the floor? Uh, there's a bunch of blood on the bed. Okay. Um, some of it has pulled onto the floor, but not like a lot. Hey, uh, Timothy, uh, you're a ranger. Yeah. Uh, did you see any tracks? Any tracks to be seen? Oh, uh, well, uh, hmm. Uh, I'll poke around. I'll allow survival or investigation for that, sure. And then, once I smell the smoke and can't really place it, can I, I, I sort of mutter out loud, this is, uh, this the, is the closest you can come to is the, uh, again, the, the rug is displaced slightly, and so someone clearly stepped on it, uh, and, like, it turned a little bit, but who knows? Again, that just as easily could have been captured. There's no evidence, by the way. Calvin, back to you. Oh, um, sort of muttered to myself, this is too easy. And can I sort of glance around the room for anything that I might determine as sort of being out of place or like a spell component or something? Mm, interesting. Uh, let me check something while I look it up. Okay. Fan. Um, that whole thing with the tongue is like obviously that's super gross and gruesome. Um, and, but I wonder is there some way do you I don't know, do you think like Thea, could you if if um he was able to be brought back to answer questions. Thea, do you think you would be able to, to, to talk to him? Mm. Oh, yeah. Probably. I think, if I'm not mistaken, my spell makes it so that only I can do it. What about your ring? Oh, the ring. If you cast the spell into the ring and give it to Thea. That, it, it would take an hour. For her to 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 get it, but yeah, that's absolutely possible. Um, Evan. Yeah. I just rolled. Sorry, Caliban. I just rolled randomly, and yeah. got a very good roll for you guys. Um, so in your uh quest for um something around the room that might be a spell component or something like that, you don't find a spell component. Um, but you do spot, um sort of tucked away underneath him, um, underneath underneath the body, uh, like like he grabbed something and then it ended up like, his arm ended up sort of like beneath him in the struggle. Uh, you see uh, two reddish brown strands of hair. Incredible, I pull those mm -hmm. out and show the party. Um. While they're looking at the hair, I'd like to look under the rug. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at the rug. Um, yeah, I mean, if this is, again, it's a nice place, and it's the ambassador's suite, so it's well kept. Um, nothing uh, under the rug. No, uh, like, I'd also like to search around the room and see if there's, like, a secret way into this room or mm -hmm. out. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll allow an investigation check. OK. Mm -hmm. And I'll I'll go ahead and add the another superiority die. Sounds good. Okay. How long how long are the hairs? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, they are mid length. Um, yeah, on a human, we would say that it is like to mid jaw line, roughly, uh, from top of head to mid jaw jaw line. Uh, with a 19, uh, yeah, you find um, not a secret way into the room, but you do find a uh, compartment that is a secret compartment within the room for visiting people to stash things. Um, 
you know, like a safety basically. No, but a hidden safe. Uh, is there anything in it? It is closed and locked. Hey, Bia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll pick the lock. Yeah, sure. 28. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, um, it opens, and inside there are uh, three small stones, um, each one marked with a different color. Um, are they magical stones? Indeed they are. Are they, do, are there any particular symbols on them? They're, um, so they're small, uh, let's say gray stones with like a stripe painted across them, basically. Uh, one in green, one in yellow, and one in red. Pale red. Muddy red. Okay. Are you familiar with these stones already? You might be. I don't even remember. Uh, uh not me. Uh, I don't, I, I, uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, we'll, we'll find out. Um, is there an appropriate arcana check? There absolutely is an appropriate arcana check for anyone who's trained in arcana. Select the make a roll. Okay, and Selexa is going to cast Enhance Ability on her Intelligence. Okay. Oh, didn't help much. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I don't know. Selexa, what are the odds that you... I mean, God, I feel like there's a wealth roll here, or a wealth modifier for the roll, basically. Um, <laughs> what, like, what are the odds that you have had or had access to Ascending Stone before? Um... Pretty, uh, I mean, I, I would say actually not that unlikely. Yeah. Um, given right. the, like, specifically her, fam- her family um, had, like, caches of um, relics and, you know, spoils of war and um, things like that that were supposed to be off limits to her, but um, in reality were, you know, rarely so. Um, yeah, so um, Sending Stones are uh, paired. Uh, you get two of them, and you have one, and you give the other one to someone, and then it allows you to speak over long distances. Um, they're like walking. Say that there's three, and mm-hmm. they're all different colors? Yes. Fascinating. Do they require a special like word or something? Nope. Uh, do you tell us what they are? Um, yeah, Selexa so says, um, Ka- these are, Kasher was using these to talk, to talk to people. Um, I, I don't, I mean, my guess would be mo- probably mostly in the Kava, right? Um, maybe his husband, maybe, um, Yeah, I don't know. Who else would he be talking to in the Kava? We could find out. Uh, Nova grabs one of the stones. Hello? Which one do you grab? Yellow, red, green? I grab the green one. Mm -hmm. May I ask who this is? Um... Do it, do Selexa, Selexa is going to whisper to to Nova, be careful, and give her a a um, inspiration die. Uh, do I recognize the voice? Um, yeah, it's a little grief stricken, but it's Abdul Kumar, uh, Kasher's husband. Okay. Oh, um, what should I say? Just be cool. Just be cool. None of us can hear the no, stone, right? None of you can hear the other side of the stone. Yeah. I, Selexa just shrugs. Um, hi, this is Nova. And are you with the body? Yes. 
I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. Um, are you investigating his death? Yeah, we're going to find out who did it. Nova? You are one of the chosen. One of the most significant people in Kavanian history right now. Can you do me a favor? Sure. I need you to swear to me that you will find who did this and you will make them suffer as much as you can. Okay, I will do that. Swear to me, please. I swear. What are you swearing? Shh. Is there anything that I can help you with in this investigation? Um, only if there's some, well, do you know who the other sending stones go to? Uh, there's one for me and there's one for um, Anuja. For Nuja? Mm -hmm. Is that the yellow one or the red one? The red one. Okay. I don't, wait, uh, he is a red one? Uh, wait, you said Nuja goes to the red one? No, uh, sorry, Nuja is yellow. Um, I, he should only have two. Well, I'll, l I'll let you know what I find out. Don't. If it's a lover, don't tell me. I don't need to know. I'm sure it's not. I mean, okay. Uh, so sorry. Um, thank, thank you for answering this stone i've just been turning it over in my hands blindly would you like me to keep it and let you know what we find out do what you think is right Okay. Uh, bye for now, I, I guess. Still didn't say anything. Are, are you off the line? Are, are you done? Are you, are Dude, you talking still? Is, can you still hear me if I like put it in my pocket or something? If it's in your pocket, you're fine. Uh, if you're holding it, then oh. no. it's a physical, it's a touch thing. Yeah, okay. and if you're if you're holding it, no one else can hear or speak into it other than the person holding it, right? Yes. Okay, oh. cool. So anything that I was saying, he wasn't hearing, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Great. Just making sure. Granted, we we only heard one part of that con one side of that conversation, but it sounds like he knew his husband was dead. Yes. Yeah. Is that is that is that surprising to anyone else? Did did I miss something? Because. I mean, how, how did they tell him? Well, the Kavanians were informed. Uh, that's why they declared war. Uh, right. And if they declared war, then Abdul Kamara's got to go. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah. Um, the yellow one goes to Nuja, and uh, Abdul Kamara didn't know who the red one goes to. Selexa, Selexa will pick up the red stone. Um, while this was going on, can I have cast Speak with Dead into my ring and pass it to Thea for a yeah. Okay. Well, so good. after an hour, Thea, you can be attuned to that. Yep. Right. Yeah. Um, well, actually, so Selexa will, is actually, her hand is going to, like, hover over the redstone and be like, wait, do you think we, should we? Do it.
Silly question. Does the color red match the red hair that we found? Um, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I think the correct answer to that is yes, but I, I also want to say that the truth in that is that that's probably because I went and looked at the character art to determine the color of their hair uh, before I was doing this, and so that color may have just been on my mind. Okay. So I, I don't want you to draw a connection there. That's, I'm just going to flat out say that. <laughs> okay. Um, so Alexa will... Um, So next, I will pick up the redstone. No one says anything. Um, OK. She is going to, uh, sh I guess she'll just say, um, hello. There's no response. When you're ready to talk, we'll I'll be here. And she pockets the stone. Roll a persuasion check for me. Okay. Nobody answered. Um, so I'm, th they might not, you know, they might not have the stone with them. It's hard to say, but I think I think we should try again later. Is any does anybody want to try to talk to Nuja now, or um, is that? No, I'm not, I'm not sure how how useful that would be at the moment. Yeah, hey Nuja, we're uh, we're here. You know, Kasha got killed, and you, you know that already. But we're just working for the Order of Starlight now <laughs> uh, to figure out his his murder. Don't don't go to war. Thanks. Bye. Hey, thanks. Bye. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, Timothy, I'm gonna take those those two hairs that we found and i'd like to taste and smell them mm -hmm. and see if there's anything maybe like any sort of residue or anything that might give me some sort of like whereabouts as to where they like places the person to which they belong frequent yeah absolutely i love that um weird cool <laughs> uh, yeah roll a perception check Not 20. Not 20. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, let me think about how best to answer this. Incredible. That's incredible. I, um, I, I am a scientist and a ranger. We and use all we use all our senses. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Smell things with your tongue. <laughs> you know, okay. Like, normally I would give you questions or something like that, but I think here I'm gonna give you um, like three levels of history, okay? Um, this person, let me see. Uh, let, uh, this is, okay, this is I think how, how you would get this information. Uh, the hair represents someone who grew up um, in a place that utilized and had access to lots and lots and lots of fresh water, just like on a lake or something like that. Um, the, they, but recently, they spent most of their time in a place with a lot of access to salt water, like the Shimmering Sea. However, very recently, um, they've spent time in a place, like for the last month or so, 
uh, maybe that is um, it, hmm. I, uh, oh boy. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll just flat out tell you because you got a natural 20. Um, some degree of magic in the place that they were spending their time. Um, what do you have? You don't have rope trick or anything like that, do you? No. Okay. I, I just, I love the, the visual of this, like, like, you, like tasting and smelling like every inch of the hair, and, you know, like, um, you know, it's, it's like, swirling it around in your in the glass kind of thing and like oh yeah some, some really nice legs on this hair for sure <laughs> I, I, someone in chat asks and i have to, i have to ask now uh, is it the lizard tongue thingy I, I, <laughs> hey, um, <laughs> yeah I, I guess i'm just curious <laughs> cool scrabble i like it uh yeah so grew up Freshwater, Celestrin, <laughs> live uh, more recently. Or Kavanian. Or Kavanian, true, true. Grew up, or uh, more recently lived salty water, like here. Pirate. Like a pirate. What color was that pirate's hair? Uh, wow, Oceana's hair. Um, I know that. Uh, probably black. OK. Oh, so. Oceana's creators in chat, so I can not red. They, they, not red. I, I may pick it, but not not the right color. And then, and then a weird one, a weird taste. Um, magic. <laughs> that kind of tastes like sour grapes and dirt. But it's the sixth, the sixth basic flavor. Right. right. Yeah. Oh yes, dirt. <laughs> Well, no, no magic. Oh, right. magic. Okay. Yeah. okay. After umami. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Um, Oceana's hair is black. I got confirmation. Uh, can, oh. we, can we make a list of all the people we know who have red hair? <laughs> sure. Um, I have. Oh my God. Uh, people you know with red hair. Jeez. Um. Red hair, I mean, I'll say this. Uh, red hair like this is not uncommon in the Kabbalah. Yeah. Um, several of your servants had this color hair. Uh, Arwa had this color hair. Um, Kyra had this color hair. Numa had this, this color hair. Um, uh, Bashir had this hair. Um, Kasher has this hair, although his is much shorter. Have we met his uh, bodyguard or servant person yet? Uh, no, he's in holding um, for questioning. Uh, if you guys would like to question, oh uh, no, he's in um, holding for questioning. If you guys would like to question him, <laughs> Sorry. yes, yeah, that'd be great. Sure, of course, no problem. Happy to help. Uh, and he turns and starts walking away. Uh, kid seems a little bit shook up. Um, apparently, he's had a little bit of a life on him already. Um, Got reassigned here recently, but uh, had some uh, trauma. So uh, I don't know if you want to go easy on him or anything, but um, just he's a little shook up. Yeah, totally. Where was he reassigned from? You know, um, it's a little bit unclear, and I don't fully know, and I didn't fully ask because of the whole uh, political shitstorm that's going on. I didn't want to push, but um, you guys are, of course, welcome to. Yeah, that's interrogation. I should um, let you know, by the way, that um, there's another group uh, investigating this uh, this murder. Um, just That's a full-on member of the uh, a team of the Order of Starlight. You see Caliban's face just sort of fall and like look sternly, like. Um. Okay. Who? Oh, uh, they're one of the teams of the Order of Starlight. I don't know if you know how they work, but they sort of organize into teams of like roughly four or five or, or adventuring party size and uh, 
go out and fix problems in the world, but um, they can also work here a little bit. They're not really a security force and it's not really their expertise, but uh, this is a big deal. And so we need uh, all manpower on it that we can. Right. Just thought I'd make sure that you were aware. So if you bump into anyone who's investigating this. Oh, thing. no, thank you. Good to know. Uh, out of game? Are mm. these real people? No. No, okay. These were these were people that were uh, well. Hmm, they might be. No, nah, I mean the, no, they're not. Um, these were people. I, I will freely admit that these were people that were created because of Caliban's belief. Oh. Caliban created these people to give yourself a hard time. <laughs> Mind blown. Um, yeah. Can, can well, while that conversation is going on, can mm -hmm. um, Slexa have a, just a really quick aside with mm -hmm. Timothy, maybe? Sure. And she's going to say, Timothy, do you remember, I can't remember, what color is Masozi's hair? Masozi's hair fits. Sorry? Masozi's hair fits. Fits. Yeah, fits. Oh, okay. Huh. That doesn't, that probably doesn't mean anything, but maybe good to know. Hmm. I mean, he's probably, well, wait, where, the last time we saw him, he was in the Kaba, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Wish I had tasted him then. <laughs> yeah. But why, I mean, it seems so far-fetched, like why, what would Masozi get out of that? For a question. I can always ask him. Can you? Yeah. I know him. I have sending. Oh. Well, um, um, why don't we talk to the manservant first and see if they saw anything? Mm. Um, and maybe wait until the ring is attuned and uh, Thea can ask Kasher questions. And then maybe uh, if we feel up to it, I can get in touch. Sure. Um, yeah, that that makes sense. I I don't know. I that the the room was kind of like with the body that was kind of a lot for me. So I think I might just you guys go and do this. I might just like go grab a drink for a minute. Totally. All right, I'll catch up with you guys in a few minutes. Can I uh, can I inside Slexa? Is that possible? Yes. Okay. Oh. Slexa, are you telling the truth? Um, I mean, you're definitely telling part of the truth. Like, obviously, that was a lot. But um, do, you, do you have other intentions, I guess, is what I would say. Uh, yeah, she has has maybe maybe another intention. Mm -hmm. well. Yeah. We'll, we'll just do a straight contested roll, insight versus deception, if that's all right. Sure. <laughs> oh, nat 20. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yes, Lexa is, is covering for something. She's got something that she wants to do. That's a sweet 31, though. <laughs> yeah, damn. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I want to just kind of like, you know, before Lexa leaves, I kind of like, you know, wander over there. It's like, so uh, what, what are you doing? Just told you. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Um, but... Uh, what kind of what kind of drink are you gonna get? I don't know. My usual. Where where are you going for this drink? I don't know. Maybe I'll head down to the sea's asshole and see if I can find Oceana. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, say hi. Say hi to you. Have fun. Nova, with you. stop being nosy. Get your butt over here. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, all right, well, uh, have fun with that, don't die. Oh, yeah, thanks, don't intend to. All right, all right, okay, what, Caliban? What do you want? What? She has her own life. We can let her live a little bit. The last time we tried to get Celexia to do things, it was almost the end of the world. I mean, to be fair. Almost what? Uh, the last time we tried to get Selexa to do things, it was almost the end of the world. 
Uh, I don't think that was because anyone was being nosy. Yes, yes, that was definitely not because of any one of our actions here. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, and so the party will split. We've got two groups. We've got five and one, four and one, sorry. There's uh, whatever. Uh, and uh, we will see the interrogation of Taj after the break, as well as um, the C's asshole and Slysa. And uh, then we'll move back to, just to clarify so everyone knows, we'll start seeing uh, your individual scenes as well, where you start pushing for your things and frame your scenes as well. So we'll go back to that shortly. Short. Awesome. Uh, we'll be back in about 10 minutes, everyone. Have a good break.
Hey everyone, welcome back. Pardon for the delay, I was wolfing down my lunch very quickly. Um, as always, uh, we like to, get, to take a moment here at the top of the second half of the show to encourage you, yes you, uh, to think about what privileges you might have, in what ways are you lucky, uh, in what ways are you provided opportunities that not everyone has, and think about that, reflect upon that, and look at how you can provide or help other people find similar opportunities. Uh, the world is a rough place to be in, just in general. And um, mm -hmm. that's not going to change overnight, no matter anything. It's always going to be hard. And uh, I think that one of the best things that you can possibly do is try to help other people. Um, everyone is struggling. Everyone is suffering. And um, even if you yourself feel like you are suffering, there's still some way that you can make someone else's life a little better, a little easier. And I highly recommend that uh, you look for ways to do that uh, and support life on Earth. As always, if you're enjoying our content, I highly recommend that you check out some of our other shows. We've got shows on this channel. Our schedule has totally changed. So the doobly-doo down below, I think might be still wrong. I don't think I corrected it yet, or we corrected it yet, or Marcus corrected it yet, or whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, but the shows right now, uh, this show's new time is noon on Sundays. If you're enjoying this content, you've got to check out the show on noon on Sundays. Uh, no longer will we be at 4.30. We will be at noon. And also, our Monday show has been moved to Thursday. What? So now we've got a show Thursday morning and Thursday evening. Thursday morning, we have our uh, dungeon crawl, um, <clears throat> where uh, people are you know, crawling through dungeons and trying to uncover things and unintentionally releasing undead armies into the world or something. I don't know. Uh, also, they're trying to start a union, which is pretty cool. Um, and then uh, our Thursday evening game is political intrigue in the city of Racine. We've got the assassination of Primarch Magli Black Ice is the subject matter of the game, and the players keep working towards that. They want to kill a political leader. I think that uh, the people in this game wouldn't object to that if that happened. Um, they would like that if that happened. <laughs> Just a guess. Uh, but that group is working diligently and actively towards that uh, as best they can. Um, though uh, it has not yet happened. So uh, we'll see. My Mark Magic Black Ice is protected in some political, devious, magical, and just ways in general. And then on Fridays, we check out other games uh, from other systems, all sorts of other systems, trying a bunch of different things. Right now, we're playing Quest RPG. If you've never heard of Quest RPG, it's a very sweet RPG system that is very, very easy to learn. Uh, if you've never played an RPG before, I recommend you try Quest. It's very simple, uh, and it takes out all the intimidating stuff of RPGs by making it as simple as possible. It's also super cute. There's lots of great art. And um, right now, they are the team in the quest game is um, trying to overthrow an empire uh, because they're rebels. And uh, one of the pieces of blackmail that they have on one of the imperial soldiers is that they love kittens. Not even slightly kidding, that's blackmail to the empire. So, you know, uh, yeah, good stuff. Check it all out. Uh, we have a lot of fun. Follow if you can and subscribe if you can. That'd be great, we'd love it. Back to the story. Let's let's start with the interrogation, if that's okay. I think we'll we'll launch there. So uh, you guys were brought to a room, uh, and unlike you guys, you guys were um, what's the word? Uh, treated very nicely, right? Uh, especially from the you you were brought to Roland's office, right, and all that stuff. Um, this poor kid, though, uh, has been locked in something that really actually looks like a prison cell. Um, it probably was not originally. Again, Terra Vest was more of a Las Vegas-y type place um, when it was Kurama. Uh, certainly towards the end, it was filled with corruption and gambling and, and wealth and exorbitance. Um, <clears throat> and so as a result, it's probably more likely that this was like a back room that a security enforcer for a casino was using originally. It's more like a mob thing than like a, a prison thing. Um, but the kid is in there, there's a desk in there, um, and outside uh, there is one guard from the Order of Starlight and one guard from um, the Kavath. Um, and Hitano comes forward and says, well, how are you doing? To the Order of Starlight, and he says, good. And so Hitano says, good, glad to hear it. Um, we're here for the investigation. There already has been a team here investigating. They're not going to learn anything else, just share your notes. Well, I think that uh, Roland Starbrand will disagree with that, and he put these people in charge of looking into things, so I think that you're going to have to uh, open up. <sighs> Fine. 
He turns towards the Kavanian, and the Kavanian looks at you guys and is like, Oh, um, you guys are investigating? Yeah, hi there. Great, of course. Yeah, no problem. Uh, and they open up the door for you. Um, and uh, you guys can go on in. So the four of you enter, and uh, there you see uh, at like a, a very severe metal table, um, a relatively young guy, maybe 17, 18 years old, and his head is just like on the table face down, just like, oh, you know, just exhausted and tired. And as the door opens, his head sort of lulls up a little bit and he says, Oh God, by the gods, more questions. Hi, hi, okay, hi. This doesn't look good. Hi. Hi there. Um, you uh, were Kasher's manservant, yeah? Um, bodyguard, officially. Um, is this a Kavanian figure or a human? Yeah, he's figure? Kavanian. Okay. Um, you know who we are, right? Oh my god, you're the, um... Yes. I haven't been yeah. back to the Kavan in a while. I was, um... doing work elsewhere. Um, about that, if you... Um, sorry, we're... we're, we're we're just going to ask just a couple more questions here. Sure, yeah, anything. Um, if, if we ask something that, that you've already answered, um, I, I apologize, but... Yeah, that's um, I, I didn't do it. You know that, right? Like, I, I'm his bodyguard. I had, like, sworn to protect him. Kavanians don't break oaths like that. Like, that's for... No, I, I, I didn't do it. Right. Um, we'll just go through the process, and if you didn't do it, We'll know that, because it's the truth. Yeah, sure. Okay. But, okay, yeah, fine. Great. Um, you mentioned uh, being here for some time. How long have you been here? Mm -hmm. um, well, I, I came here from uh, my previous posting. Um, I contacted at home, and they assigned me to to cash her here. How long ago was that? Uh, around the time that Kasher came here. Matthew Camille has forgotten the timeline exactly, but uh, shortly after. Okay, yeah, 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 whatever. Okay, sounds good. So n no, n no more than a month, quite a bit less. Yeah, uh, th three and a half weeks, maybe three weeks. Okay. No one's ever going to hire me again. It's all right. I'm not going to have any positions of pride or honor as a bodyguard ever again. Everyone's going to hate me. It's okay. I cast calm emotions, only targeting him. Mm -hmm. Um, It's a Christmas save if, if, uh, if he wants. No, he'll, he'll take it. Okay. He's got the so I'll get some emotions. You know. Yeah. Okay. Uh to just chill him out. <laughs> um. It's okay, really. Now, I know that my friends here are, are might have some more pointed questions. Don't take it personally. Okay. I want to help. Great. I'll step back. Uh, oh, go ahead. No, you go ahead. After you. <laughs> uh, where were you posted before you came here? Um, I was doing a uh, posting to learn the ways of being a bodyguard. Uh, I was assisting um, uh, I was assisting a member of the Kava um, in uh, Racy in Chalestra. 
So this is your first job, basically. Yeah, you could say that. And uh, were you posted by Cashier's room in the night, during the night? Um, yes, but uh, down the hall. I didn't hear anything, if that's what you're asking. Can I inside check that? Yeah. Yeah, um, it's harder to insight someone when <laughs> it's harder to insight someone when you um, have calmed their emotions, right? Uh, you you decrease their agitation, so it's harder All to right. talk to them. Okay, I'm trying to be nice. Uh, what what kind of uh, what kind of weapon do you carry? Uh, well, I'm trained in all sorts of weapons, but. Um, I've got uh, a three-pronged spear, like a, a trident thing, and um, a sword, uh, and several knives, um, and I'm also familiar with bows and arrows, uh, and um, I have a little bit of magic as well. Uh, what kind of magic do you have? Um, I... I met someone who was really influential on my life and um she sort of broadly encouraged me to to enter into like um uh like a, a paladin relationship so i've got like some radiant powers okay uh when when might you use radiant powers is that something that happens when you're attacking mm -hmm. Yeah, I um, I I encant an oath and um, you know, swift swift death my enemies or something like that, and I can uh, imbue my strikes with um, radiant damage. Um, I'd like to get up real close and personal and and check if he has any signs of mind control. Yeah, perfect. I love it. Um, yeah, uh, investigation. And yeah. as she does that, as she gets super close, I drop my concentration on my calm emotions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, poor guy. All right. Investigation. Oof. You don't see anything. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, what is he can looking I use my luck? Yeah, sure. Can I re-roll? Yeah. All right. Uh, what does he look like? Like, what mm -hmm. color hair does he have? Yeah, uh, it's relatively short. Um, like I will say, uh, let's see how long. Like like uh, Winona's hair, um, and uh, uh, yeah, it, it's that reddish brown color again. That color is kind of com common with Voth, so it's not like you know. Um, can I also add my superiority die to this roll? Sure. Yeah. All right. Oof. Oof. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't spot any signs of mind control. There's no blue in the eyes. There's no, um, you don't see the brain slug uh, sticking out. You don't smell anything. You don't know what's going on. All right. Um, may, may I smell and or taste your hair? It could be on your head, but I think that'd be more bizarre. So. <laughs> he like reaches up and plucks a strand of his hair and hands it to you. Yeah, uh, yeah, that makes more sense. That's good. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perception. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I will go ahead. I'll go ahead and use my luck point. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's take that. <laughs> yeah. Um. I think uh, there's a scent of fear that like overpowers a little bit. Um, there's like sweat in the hair. It just makes it hard to tell. Yeah, I mean like, 
Is the hair look recently cut? No. Okay. Um, I, mean, I turn to the party. Pandemic hair or anything like that, but yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, so I turn to the party. I'm like, it's not the right length. No. No, and. I feel like that's sort of that radiant damage thing pretty clearly is meant to be pointing fingers at this guy. Hmm. You said you trained with a, a woman who um, helped you along that path of uh, oh, radiant. Oh, uh, sorry, I misspoke. I, I trained with um, <clears throat> with a uh, with a man, but um, his uh, his sister was um, uh, important to me. Um, and she wasn't my training officer, but. Sorry, I want to be clear. Uh, were, were there others with whom you were training? Um, back when I was like in the Kavah, sure, yeah, many. Um, my, uh, uh, I, I trained under, uh, I don't know if you know, um, do you know Bashir? Yeah, uh, so he was my training officer for a long time. And um, I also, <clears throat> I studied uh, religion under um, Abdul Kumar. Uh, which is one of the reasons I think why I got this post because I think um, Kasher always liked me. Who was the woman who taught you magic? Um, well, she didn't really teach me magic. She just sort of in inspired it. Um, and um, yeah. Uh, yeah, she, she was the sister of my uh, training officer. Was she your sister? She was his sister. Okay. He looks flustered. I'll just give you that for free at this point. <laughs> right. Have you, have you ever run into a gentleman named Masozi? Um, the one who was behind all the explosions in the Kavah? Yes. No. Well, anything else? Can I insight if he's run into uh, Miss Ozzy before? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, if if he has, he doesn't know, um, and he knows that Masozi is good at disguises mm -hmm. and like things like that. So there's always a chance, but like he doesn't, it didn't, it didn't, didn't cross his mind. He didn't seem to have like a. It wasn't like a mark of familiarity, like oh Masozi, that guy I met at the deli. It was more like a mark of familiarity of like, yeah, did you just mention someone really famous? Yes, yes, I know who that really famous person. Is. Huh. You know, um, have has um. Has she come into contact with anyone with uh, length, reddish length hair, kind of like yours, about this long? Uh, sorry, uh, can you give me, do you know anything else about what they look like? Um, no. <laughs> Okay. Um, well, in the time I've been here, he's mostly been dealing with Chalestrin officials who tend to have uh, either are reptiles and don't have much hair or um, have uh, typically darker black hair um, more commonly. Uh, that's mostly the reason we're dealing with the people with the reddish brown hair. Um, that tends to be, I guess, uh, Kavanian. Um, there's been a lot of Kavanians. Uh, I don't really remember anyone of, of that hair length in particular that um, has come in contact with him. Um, I'm, I'm going to uh, turn to everyone else and uh, sort of motion to the back of the room and I'll say I'm going to go find the group 
that's doing the other investigating and see if they know anything, see if I can squeeze them for information. Um, if, uh, if you want to stay here, then uh, if, you, if you have any more questions, awesome. But I, I think I'm going to go ahead and, and get that done. I don't know. I don't personally have more questions. Nor I. This has been a really rough month. So um, I'll cooperate fully with anything that the order of, I've been told by the government to cooperate fully with anything that the Order of Starlight requests. So um, I, of course, will. I. God. Oh, one more thing. Um, can we have a, can I have just a couple more of your hairs? Yeah. Just for safety. He just like Here. rips out a chunk of his hair and hands it to you. Perfect. Thank he, you. I'll well, pocket it. This kid's really young. Um, he seems like I mean he's not a child exactly, but like uh, you definitely see like vibes of like probably he was the most competent teenager in the class and got promoted to like a job um that then like something about him seems like this is a deeply overwhelmed person um that like this may not be the only horrible thing this person has seen um in recent memory like this is this is it's been a he's not kidding when he says it's been a long time Okay, uh, we will end the scene there. Although, again, he's been promised to help you with anything. Uh, and we'll go check in on um, Selexa first, and then we'll go check in on Calvin, and um, then we'll check in on, I think, Thea casting Speak With Dead from the ring that she's attuning to. And uh, we'll think about what uh, our other members want to do as well. So, Selexa, how are you doing? Um... Yeah, Selexa is, I think, perturbed, but feeling excited also. Um, it seems like they got a lot out of that, um, taking a peek in into that room. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, as much as she would love to go um, and, and seek out Oceana, uh, it seems like maybe that's actually not the the highest priority right mm -hmm. now, okay. um, but but that's it. It seemed like a plausible thing to tell Nova at the time, um, so she's going to. Um, Selexa will will um, sort of step between a couple of buildings, um, and then um, step out, uh, looking like a. Um, like a light-haired human woman, um, and um, she's going to go and um, she's going to go to uh, seek out Professor Recha. Mm -hmm. um, so, I, I guess she'll try um, she'll try her at her office first, mm -hmm. um, just to see if she can find her there. Yeah. Um... You you get to the office and someone looks at you and uh, like in the hallway just glances at you. Oh, are you looking for the professor? Um, she's um, over at the diplomatic building uh, now. There's a lot going on, I guess. Yeah, so I'd heard. Um, okay, great, thanks. So, Selexa so will um, will head over the dip to the diplomatic building and see if she can, um, yeah, see if she can locate her there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you're able to find her. Um, I think you see her. Like angrily storming out of a meeting. Mm. Um, and she, uh, hmm? so um, she's uh, uh, Selexa will will see her like kind of like coming by, and she'll just sort of try to try to kind of sidle up and, and just say, Psst, "Hey, do I know you?" Um, yeah, it's. It's it's just it's me. I'm not myself right now. 
you um, see her fa facial expression changed instantly, mm -hmm. and you know that the rage was totally fake. Mm -hmm. She was actually very calm and collected, uh, and like it was all an act. And she just pauses for a second and says, Ah, yes. Can we I go someplace to talk? Come this way. Okay. Uh, and she walks several doors down and down a hallway and around the corner and blah, 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 gets you, and it gets you to an office. Wow, a room. Who would have guessed? Uh, and uh, she opens the door and closes it and says to you quietly, um, uh, this music, this room is not being magically observed. Um, well, that's, that's good. I, I don't have anything conclusive right now, but um, I have to say, uh, there's, this whole situation is just weird. Um, do, do you, my, my first instinct, of course, was that, um, Ma that uh, Magli was behind this, especially since they, um, well, the Chilestrians left at the same time. Do, do you have anything, any reason to believe that that might be true? Do you, have you, have you heard anything? Uh, well, they're the obvious culprits. Um, they clearly want this war, mm -hmm. obviously. And um, well, from that perspective, uh, what better way to ensure it than to have a member of the opposing side be assassinated? But mm -hmm. it's not like they weren't getting it in some ways. From a political perspective, it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Follow up question. Um, do you, have you had any anybody keeping an eye on or or keeping an eye out for um, Masozi? Why do you ask about Masozi? Well. I'm sorry I couldn't get them for you, but um, we found uh, hair like his uh, at the scene, um, being th th that it seemed uh, were being clutched by um, by Kasher. And um, I don't know if it's not Masozi, it's somebody who kind of. Uh, might have hair like his, but it seemed a bit, it seemed rather distinctive and um, too, I don't know, too close of a match to just ignore. And knowing you, I, I, I had a feeling like you might um, be on the lookout for him anyways. How much do you know about the brain trim? I've forgotten. Um, well, uh, I can tell you that um, they were uh, um, they were created by those creepy tentacle monster guys, and um, and brought and brought to the Kava, and um, were uh, they. Have basically been trying to to um, both ensure their own survival and uh, seek revenge on the on their creators uh, ever since. And um, yeah, I don't know. In the, when we left the Kava, there was kind of an open question of how um, of how that would resolve. Uh, and um, I think we had thought we might go back and see that through further. Um, but as for right now, um, Nuja is the one who is taking charge. She a shrimp? Sorry? Is she a shrimp? Uh, you don't know. I'm asking if you know. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, I, I do. I mean, Sozi is convinced that she is a shrimp and wants to kill her. He has come here 
hoping to gain assistance in an overthrow of the Kaaba and an execution of the brain trap. You think he might be possibly responsible for this murder? Well, what would he get out of it? Um, it seem it seems like one thing is, uh, you know, it it's easy enough to it, it to cast suspicion on the Celestrians, um, and so if it benefits him to have. Um, to have war rather than peace, at least temporarily. But if you say he's here, I, I the last time I saw him, he was in the Kaaba. If you say he's here, then um, my my suspicions go from being more from being um, mild to. I don't know. I've got some. I've got some bells ringing right now. That's for sure. Um, <clears throat> he's been hanging around, uh, keeping a low profile, but he's mm. definitely on the island somewhere because he's shown up for meetings to try and convince Ara and myself. Rolling to a lesser extent, to that there's been a secret coup in the Kaaba that we should get ourselves involved in. Interesting. Interesting. He's very concerned about the the brain tramp. Yes. Yeah. I'm more curious about them. I must admit, I my mind runs more scientific. Than... Mm, yeah. Have you studied any? I have not gotten my hands on any yet. Mm. But mostly, I am intrigued about their possibilities in our line of work. Well, yeah, that seems rather, now that you mention it, that seems like an obvious um, application. They could be quite useful. Um, I can guarantee you that he's on the island. I. Uh, can guarantee you that uh, if you hang out with me long enough, uh, he will eventually show up randomly. You don't have any way to get in touch with him. Something like a, like a sending stone, something like that. No stone, but um, when I want to speak with him, I hang a small green flag. Um, outside my uh, office window, so I know he can see it. Good to know. Um, and Selexa will, will, she's going to hesitate for a moment. Um, and she, um, and she's going to pull out the red sending stone. Um, and, uh, well, actually, so before she pulls it out, she's going to say, we found something in Kasher's room, and we don't know, um, where this, we, we don't know where it goes to, and, uh, there, there's, there's been no answer, and she pulls out the red stone. Hold it. Sorry? You've reached out through it, you say? Uh, I, I just pull out the, I, I'm telling her about the stone and then pulling yeah, yeah, yeah. it out. Yeah, Sorry, she says to you, uh, you've reached out through it, you've tried oh, to, whoever's on the other side. Yes, but only only once. Um, I've been intending to try again. You spent time in the Kaaba, assuming that this is someone from the Kaaba, what are the odds that they know who you are? Well, I mean, um, not to, you know, toot my own horn or anything, but I, I would say um, fairly well, fairly well known um, where, where, wherever I go. Uh, and not, and definitely in the Kava, they would know me. Um, although perhaps not just by my voice.
But it is that is definitely the question is, you know, uh, especially if they if they might know something. Would they trust me? Well, that's that's hard to say. You have to do something to earn their trust then. Mm. Well, there's no way there's no way that you know of to like trace or locate where the other where the other stone might be. There are stories of powerful mages, spellcasters that can uh, see connections between things, but uh, that's outside of my wheelhouse. I don't. Um, my ballywag doesn't run that way. Mm. Hypothetically speaking, mm. um, if let's say let's say Masozi did it, what what do you think um, Roland would want to do, would, would would do about it? Would he have him arrested if he could? Um, in some ways, Masozi would be perfect. We arrest him, we point to someone who's literally been exiled from the Kaaba, proof that the Kaaba itself was not involved in this. Mm. It would be convenient for us politically if it was Masozi. Roland, though, um, he cares not for what is politically convenient, but only for the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, one more, one more question, actually, that just came to mind. Um, Caliban looked when he was examining the body, he said something about like radiant damage. Mm. Um, does that fit with any any person you could think of? I, I don't know if Misozi would have a reason, w w would have, um, if that would be distinctive to him in some way, or if there's some other, if that signals something else to you. Um. <clears throat> A lot of weapons are blessed with divine power. That's certainly a possibility. There's also any number of people who have divine power and can just imbue it into their weapons. Um, I don't see a clear way to limit that down further. Yeah, that's that's fine. I just, yeah, I figured you might know. Um, um, weapon and its make and build, or at least the type of slash room, as best you could. Yeah, yeah. Do, do you... Would you um, would you help us to talk to Miss Ozzy? Signal a meeting or something? Is that something you 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 think would be you'd be willing to do? Sorry. When do you want to meet with him? Tomorrow. Sure. It's done. Okay. Um, at the. Uh, Is it safe to do at your office, or do we need a more um, discreet venue? My office is fine. Hmm. He can. Sh he he won't have any trouble showing up unrecognized. <laughs> that one? No, he is uh, quite good at stuff. Okay. Well, um, I guess that is all for now. Thank. Yeah. Thank you. I um. I wouldn't be surprised if. Um, some other somebody else came by later. Um, some of my other other friends came by later, but I just wanted to be discreet about this, and I wasn't sure um, how keen they. I wasn't sure how keen they would be on my telling you everything. You were wise to do it this way. Um, as close as you can, even if you aren't telling them everything. Right. Right. Speaking of which, um, I don't want to be gone for too long. Um, so uh, thank you, and I'm. I'll. Uh, we'll, we'll catch you. We'll catch you tomorrow. Um, actually, speaking of the discretion, um, discretion thing, um, maybe you could. Could you send for us tomorrow? Oh. So it doesn't seem like. I have anything to do with it. Okay, perfect. Um, all right, thank you, thank you, Professor. And Selexa will, um, in disguise, she will duck out and leave.
she smiles and you see her like thinking quietly to herself mm -hmm. you see that look on someone's face when their gears are turning mm -hmm. machinations and all that good stuff uh and i have to change venues one more time so i'm going to move rather quickly from one slot to another and i apologize again uh for that but uh while i'm doing that um Thea, i i think you have an interrogation scene yes that you want to do or you interrogated a body Uh, is uh, Nova and Timothy going to come to the interrogation of the body? Sure. Sure. Sounds fun. Mm -hmm. Party. <laughs> I know for a fact that like sometimes. Parties. Oh, sorry. I like parties. The plaza. Sorry. Party. Sometimes during interrogations, dead bodies jump up and attack party members in some RPGs. I just, <laughs> that being said. Okay. <laughs> I, I can help with that. I like killing things. Okay, we're going to hope this works now. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Looking good so far. Okay. Uh, okay, so back to the scene of the crime. Uh, for those of you who are watching, apparently, Evan, the wonderful, uh, lost his internet. So we're figuring out that right now, just who you were. Um, so back to the scene of the crime. Let's, uh, let's see what's going on here. Uh, the three of you return there. Um, Hitano, I think, sticks with the three of you because you're where most people are. Is that true? Actually, I think you might go with Caliban to introduce him to the other team. Um, so uh, the three of you are already known figures, so you guys can head back there um, and see if there's anything to find out. All right, cool. Uh, so do I have to do anything to use the yeah, ring? Yeah, so the spell is cast into the stone, so you just have to focus on the stone. You're now, you now have it memorized um, to cast it on uh, Kasher. Okay. So I, I cast it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so as you do, uh, the light in the room seems to dim. And the air grows a little bit colder. And it's almost the whole world falls away. And it almost feels like you're in this void where all you can see is you, Timothy, Nova, and this body. You know it's lying on a bed, and it's lying as if it's on a bed, but you can't even see the bed around it. It's just this body. And then suddenly, the head just jerks up, and the eyes open, and they stare at you, and the mouth will sort of lull them. Uh, I quickly create a psionic link and tell them, don't speak. Just think. And I, I ask... Who killed you? A woman, former student, exiled. What's her name? Didn't know, just recognized. Was she alone? Powerful magics around her. What is the three? Uh, sorry, you've asked three questions, you get five. Oh. From okay. this one, sorry. Uh, I tell... Nova and Timothy, what he said. What else do we want to know? Um, I don't know if this is a good question, but maybe is it uh, may maybe like who would know her name or is it Bashir's sister or? Yeah, maybe I'll ask who would know her name. My husband. 
he exiled her years ago. Hope it's not Bethany. <laughs> Too bad. Yeah. Does does Nephany look like the part? Uh Nephany dyes her hair blue. So no. Okay. That's good. <laughs> unless she's unless she's framing Masozi. Yeah. You get one more question if you want to ask. Uh. And why? Or should we ask about the stone? Or should? We... Oh, oh yeah, yeah. The red stone. Yeah. Um, who holds the other red stone, sending stone? <laughs> yeah, uh, he'll answer that. Um, in ally, in the conspiracy. Against the brain shrimp. <sighs> you hear the breath leave his body and his head just falls back to the bed. And as it hits the bed, you see it hit the pillow and the light just, just turns right back on instantly. And it's almost blinding how bright they are, even though they're not brighter than normal. Just so sudden. Okay, well, we have a big lead. A woman who's been exiled from the Kavah. Should I call up Abdul Kumar and see who this woman is? Yeah. That's, yeah. All right. I, I hold the, the stone and say, hello? What? Um, do you remember a woman you exiled a long time ago? Who was your student? You'll have to be more specific. Oh, no. Um, uh, red hair. Uh, Magic. Possibly Magic. magical. Um. I, I don't know how to tell you this. I'm a religious figure. It's my job to exile people who don't follow the tenets of the Kava. I've exiled hundreds. Anything else you can tell me? Um... Uh, is it common for people in the Kavad to have this kind of sword or whatever weapon was used? Yeah, maybe uh, someone who uses a, a long sword. I've students who have used, I mean, what weapons people pick up after I exile them, I, I don't know. There are certainly some people that have used long swords. Nova, ask about um, the uh, the exiled uh, Kavanian who recently was <clears throat> behind the assassination attempt. Um, did you happen to exile the person who was be behind the uh, assassination attempt of um, Magali Black Eyes? Oh, her. Yes, I know her. Does she fit the description? Yes. And she, she's the type, too. Vindictive. Filthy. She killed her own brother. Ooh. And uh, I tend to get some counselor on the council of Telestra. Violent woman. Her brother thought she could be redeemed. Um, 
do you have any idea why she might try to start this war? Her violence and her hatred runs deep. A war can only cause problems in the Kava. She probably just hates us so much and so obviously that she's convinced to launch a war against us and saw that obviously Kasia was so good at negotiating that, that peace was a possibility and so she killed him like the violent little felon that she is. She was her. Can you, I, I don't know I don't know what he's saying. Is it, what he's saying? Well I, I don't know can can you can you ask if there were if there were two other Kavanians there too? I just bear with me, okay? Uh were there Two other Kavanians? Maybe one was a like a child? Possibly one is a child. Not, I wouldn't, I wouldn't refer to him as a child. He's a, he was a trainee. It was his first posting. Um, I reassigned him. Is, is he all right? The, is this, are, are we talking about the guard? Yeah, Taj is his name. Good kid. The the bodyguard. Guard? No, 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 no. Uh, no. Two other people with the the one who did the assassination thing. Yeah, it was this girl. Her name is Kazan, and her brother, who she killed, and in her attempt to kill Mela Stepwise, and. Uh, her brother's trainee student. His name is Taj. He's now working for Kasher. Did she say anything about Mela stepwise? Um. Yeah, like she she killed someone oh. named stepwise. Okay. Okay. I'll tell you later. Okay. Or here, here, here. Just just read this, but don't. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Passing of notes at the table. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> uh, uh, is it okay if I put it in the? Uh, yeah, feel free. If it's you fine. want, I can actually. I'm going to read it aloud. Um, I'm going to read it to the world uh, for the sake of reading it to the world um, for a second. Uh, so last night, uh, Timothy received a note uh, from Mela Stepwise's secret organization. I'm going to read the note aloud now. Uh, I want to point out that Timothy does not know who this is from, nor does John. <clears throat> Dear friend, I hope this letter finds you well. I've been informed that you have spoken to, with a mutual acquaintance, this is Mela Stepwise, just for the editorial commentary, uh, that you have expressed concern with the path the war has taken and the suitability of our own current government to lead effectively. I represent an organization dedicated to establishing a governing body that will work for the people of Chilestra, rather than send half of us off to die in a war we did not ask for. Our current leader has a narrow view on what makes one a true Chilestrin as well, and we will use this war to make his power absolute. If you truly wish for peace, then I welcome you, friend, and will gladly help you in your endeavors. As a show of good faith, I will let you in on a secret. If you are not trustworthy and you end up running about causing trouble for our mutual acquaintance as a result of what I've told you, rest assured that I will find you, but I'm sure you're very nice. I heard you liked the tea, so I've included a packet of something common to make up for the threat I just made. There is also a recipe for scones because I do feel kind of bad about it. If you want to reach me in the future, please send uh, the message to our mutual uh, acquaintance. Sincerely, a friend. P.S. Please burn this. Thanks! Uh, and the secret that she sent, sorry, I wrote this in the wrong order, that's my bad. Um, they say that the Kava were the ones who tried to assassinate Mela stepwise at the start of the war. This is not entirely true. At the time, there were three Kava in the room. One tried to kill her on a Chalestrin's orders, one saved her, and one was little more than a child, but saw it all. I have a note here, sorry. Um, that's a fair clarification. I have a note here from someone who's watching the stream who also may have written this letter, uh, who says um, 
that they they sh perhaps should have rewritten it to refer to the person as still a trainee rather than just a child for some clarification. Not that we didn't get there eventually, but mm -hmm. you are right. That I should have spotted that. My bad. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, okay, uh, so there you go. Sorry, I I held on to that uh, for three hours more than you know. I, I guess I could have told you all this morning, but it's been a bit. It's been a busy morning. Uh, anyway, there you go. Now you know. Let's keep this between the three of us for now. Not that I don't trust our other two friends, but I don't necessarily trust our other two friends. That's fair. Sure. Uh, so we feel pretty certain that it's that this Kazan person is who killed Kasher and also tried to assassinate Stepwise. Is that right? I think so. And Stepwise was the person who started that that attempted assassination is what started this war, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, just trying to trying to put all the pieces together. And they tried to frame the trainee, right? That we're we think that's probably true. They tried to train to frame the trainee so that they could kill two birds with one stone and get rid of him because he is a problem. He witnessed the, this. He witnessed the other assassination also. He was there in the room when the uh, when the failed assassination occurred. Okay, and. Who's the, do we have the third person? There were three people. There's the other one was, uh, was killed. The brother, right? The brother was killed. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, so we we know who done it. Um, or I just want to point out, sorry. Um, I, just, I just want to clarify a couple things just for the sake of clarifying. Fine. Um, captures undead corpse or whatever the speak with dead spell uh, doesn't doesn't compel the truth um, and only has Kasher's perspectives on things mm -hmm. so uh, you know it can be fooled by illusion spells it can be fooled by charm magics it can be fooled by all sorts of things but it doesn't it, 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 but like I just want to clarify that like um, it, like there are theoretically other options they're certainly more convoluted but there are other options okay. uh, to, to point that out so it doesn't feel like you know, whatever, if you've got something wrong or something. Not that you oh. did, you know. Uh, so at least that's what Kasher believes. Hmm. Okay. Um, do, do we have any more questions for, um, for our, our stone friend? I don't, I don't think so, not at this time. All right. To tell to tell him tell him to tell Nuja not to go to war. Yeah, tell, you know. tell Nuja not to go to war because it maybe wasn't Telestra. What makes you certain of that? Uh, I don't know. I I would like for it, it to not be Telestra because then we wouldn't be going to war. If what you say is true, and Kazan, an exile from the Kava, assassinated my husband, who's to say she didn't do it for Chalestra. Certainly they serve to gain here. And so I, for one, will not heed your advice on this. I think that war with Chalestra is a good thing. I think that pathetic country should be wiped off the map entirely. We have enough going on. We don't need to deal with them too. Were you successful? Is uh, it good? Good? Okay. Um, we'll talk to you again later. He doesn't say goodbye. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, no. <laughs> Not not so great. Um, hmm. So if it's this Kazan person, I don't I don't know, I don't know what this changes. 
because she may have been working for Chalestra. Mm -hmm. But she is a Cavani in exile. I guess we need to find her and question her motivation or something. Yes. If she, if she, I mean, if she, this has been, so this is the same person orchestrating both of these assassinate, well, attempted assassination and this current assassination, right? Ostensibly. And both times she's supposedly working for Celestra, but Celestra is spinning that in, in that she is a Kavanian exile, right? Yeah, that's certainly what the evidence is pointing to right now. Okay. So. So someone's wrong. <laughs> someone's wrong about something at some point. Uh, while we leave you guys there, let's go check in with Selexa. So I think um, Selexa will. It was a, she, she's thinking, well, just in case they come looking for her, um, maybe it would be a good idea to head over to the sea's asshole after all. Okay. Um, so she is, um, she will shed her disguise mm -hmm. and, um, uh, and she will, uh, stroll in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's, it's a bar, it's a tavern, it's a body house, it's all, all of the above. Um, and, uh, you stroll in and, uh. Oh, oh and she'll also, just for the heck of it. She'll also cast um, uh, enhance ability on her charisma. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so I think, what does that look like magically? Like, how 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 do you do you change it all when you do that, or is it just um, a little thing, or what? I, I I don't think that. Yeah. So so I feel like it looks like a. Um... Uh, it's it's more of kind of like a, a concentration kind of or, or like almost like mindfulness kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, like she like takes a moment um, and she um, I, I, I feel like she focuses on um, I, I think she she has like different um, a few different things with her that serve as different kinds of like um, focuses that she touches so um like maybe there would be like a little like ball of cotton or a like a hard stone or like a like a a, a twig that she like like snaps or something like that um yeah. depending on what part of her body that she is trying to um that she's trying to like focus mm -hmm. uh and um yeah and so i think i feel like um she for for charisma, she like maybe maybe she like rubs her fingers on like a little piece of like silk satin, mm -hmm. um, and just kind of like feels the like the slip, and uses that to kind of channel her um, her magical energy into uh, into like this certain part of her of her um, personality. Yeah, well, this wasn't going to happen originally, but I think because you've done this, I'm going to just have you, you walk into the tavern, mm -hmm. and there's someone there, um, three-corner hat and a claw hook for a hand, um, lizard-born, uh, wearing an eye patch, who just sort of sees you come in and just, like, raises their hook and says, hey, you're, uh, <laughs> you're the one that won the gauntlet last night. Um, and, uh, so, so Alexa will just kind of, like, give a little bit of a, little bit of a bow, and she'll say, well, it's always, it's so nice to meet a fan. That was some impressive fighting. I had a great time watching. We were, uh, we were all enjoying that show in the stands, you know. Oh, and... yeah, did you, uh, did, did we make you a little, a little money, too? <laughs> Boss said we should bet on you, and she's never wrong, so thought that was a good call. The, uh, the boss, huh? Yeah. Yeah, well, who, that would be... Um, Selexa so, so looks, looks around, and she wants to see if she happens to... I, I don't know if this is mm -hmm. the right person, but is, is Oceana in sight? Is she around there? 
She's not. She's not. Sorry. She's not currently in sight. Not currently in sight. Um. So, was your boss there too? <laughs> yeah, she was enjoying the show quite a bit. Oh yeah, I thought. I hoped so. I saw her. I saw her there, uh, you know, knocking back some, knocking back some drinks and, you know, what, what did you, uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm wondering if she enjoyed, um, seeing that, uh, that fool with the sword getting embarrassed as much as I did. <laughs> the second he came out there without his team, we knew it was going to be a great show, but I did not expect the whooping to go that bad. That was fantastic. Oh my god. And after he was such a blowhard for the first oh my god. That was well, fantastic. I, I I do take pride in my work. You did that. That was you? You arranged for that? Um, well, you know, I um I can't take all the credit. But well, I like you. But um you know, I I I have to say I, I um I didn't get a chance to talk to uh, to talk to your boss after afterwards, and I was kind of hoping to have a word. I don't suppose she's. Uh, I don't suppose she's around. Uh, yeah, sure. Why don't you? Uh, why don't you wait here? I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go wake her up. It's oh. like two in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, uh, that sounds that sounds like a great idea. And um, so Alexa is going to. Uh, um, she's going to, uh, order a couple of, uh, uh, a couple of glasses of, of, uh, hard liquor mm. and, um, find a table and, uh, and sit with one of them in front, in, in front of her and, and one of them across. And, uh, yeah, so the hooked, uh, hooked pirate heads up the stairs and, um, uh, you hear him like at the top of the stairs, uh, like it sounds almost like he's hurting cats or something like that, but then you hear the pitter patter of little footsteps and like um, like a, a, a woman comes down the stairs half dressed uh, and then a boy comes down the stairs, a man comes down the stairs half dressed and then there's like a dwarf that comes down the stairs half dressed and then like three minutes later comes Oceana fully, fully clothed uh, down the stairs. Um, and she sees you, and she walks over and sits down at the table. It's Alexa. That was quite the show you put on last night. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, I, um, she says, I, I got you some breakfast. And she pushes the, the, um, the liquor over to her side of the table. She grabs it and <laughs> downs it and puts it face down. Um... Yeah, I, uh, well, we had, we had a great time, and, uh, I hear from your, your friend, uh, who I was just talking to, the guy who came to, who, who, uh, went upstairs, uh, Long time. I hear you all had a pretty good time, too. <laughs> yeah, and, it was, uh, it was quite the show. And, you want some money, I don't think, uh, I don't think the announcer's gonna want me back there anytime soon. I put long odds on you right from the beginning. That's flattering to be sure. Uh, and um, yeah, I, you know, I feel like it seems like you can learn so much from somebody from watching them fight uh, and especially watching them, you know, fight six, six times. Uh, and I feel in a way like you must know so much about me now and uh just in the sense that you seem like a very perceptive person um and it has me it has me feeling a little curious about you um i i wonder how a um uh i don't know what is a person of your um your obvious uh skill have, um, like, what does a place like this have for you? You're asking why I'm here on Terra Vest? Yeah, yeah, why are you, why are you here on Terra Vest and, 
why are you here in this um, obviously uh, very charming, um, rustic uh, uh, inn that's so full of local flavor? Um, roll persuasion check. Twenty nine. Yeah, she looks at you and she says, "Not really much mystery to it. Um, I make my home in well." The sea, basically, but uh, when I rest my head on shore, I typically rested in uh, Ray C. But um, when the covering came down, Ray C was hit pretty bad. A lot of uh, things there aren't the best. And so um, we needed somewhere else to rest our heads, and I decided to see if uh, Terra Vest, which used to be Karama, could hold up to the legends of Karama. Turns out we, the answer is no, but uh, still worth the exploration. Did you did you sail here? Indeed. Oh, I see. Um, yeah, you have the uh, definitely have the the air of a captain, maybe. Captain? Oh no, I've been demoted. What? Well, what just just recently? By you. I am no captain. You've never heard of Oceana? My reputation must precede me somewhere. I mean, I guess that you are from the north, I'm guessing the woods, Sunera, yes? Um, Probably with some degree of privilege. Well. You've never heard of Oceana, the terror of the seas? Pirate uh, queen? I, I don't know, ha have I? That's... Yeah, I don't know. It's what? Probably what do you not. think, Matt? Um, maybe I, I could see it. It would be. It's. It, I mean, it's a. It's. It's. It's a little bit too recent for you to have heard like kid stories about like romanticizing it. I would say right. like it's a, like five years or so. So I would. I would say probably not. Yeah. If I mean, if I had, it would be on, on some like yeah. other adventure that I had been. Um, I had been doing, you know. But um, you know, I. I have to say, uh, I've never really been like an ocean girl, and um, I don't know. Maybe we just didn't run in the same circles. So, uh, no, I, I, I'm sorry to say, your reputation in this case did not precede you. Fair enough. But what 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 do I have to do? What do I have to do with your being demoted? That just seems absurd. Oh, it was a sorry. It was a joke. When you refer to me as captain when I am a queen. Um, well, uh, yeah, that's, sorry, you know, honest, funny story, funny story. This is not the first time I've made that mistake with a queen. Oh, really? Yeah. You don't. Uh, yeah, uh, well, I don't know. Let's save that for another time. I feel like mm -hmm. it's maybe not, not, maybe not germane, but um, just, you know, I'm, I'm so sorry. That was, um, that was, it was not my intention. Um, but, uh, so was it, it was your kingdom then that was, um, that was hit by the, by the covering com coming down? Well, uh, I guess the whole world was hit by it, but uh, race C seems to have taken the brunt. And I would say Celestra's seas are my kingdom, if not mm. its lands. Yeah. Um, Rist Risti, is, did everybody leave? Is it like what 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 happened there? I think the city. She's gonna be. She's gonna open up to you because of your high roll. The just, mm -hmm. um, and I, she'll say, um, 
I think that the city was already filled with tension. There was mm. a lot going on in many ways. Religiously, we had had several omens of war and more. Mm -hmm. And everything is just a little bit of a mess there. My um, uh, Thomas uh, is a cleric there, a priest who um, who I'm I'm on good terms with, and and he tells me that things have been bad for a while, and so when the sky turned green and blue and many colors, and the people there interpreted it as a sign from the gods, and burned much of their own city down. Um, it's worse now. Um, I just got a report that there is famine and mm -hmm. plague there and their short supplies as well as um, unsolved murder mysteries and events just getting out of hand. I'm um, I'm sailing there though. That, that's your next destination. Yeah, I have um, a friend has promised to buy uh, twenty thousand gold in wheat. It's kind of pathetic becoming a merchant vessel after being a pirate, but if it helps the people, it helps the people, you know. Speaking of unsolved, uh, unsolved murders, um, do you hear anything about last night? Some fat diplomat died. Yeah, that's all. That's all you. That's all you know, huh? Well, I, I tell you what. Um, since I know you have you folks are around here, and you might have, you know, I don't. Who knows what kind of people uh, might come into this establishment. Um, I'll just say if information comes your way, um, I, I know some people who would um, certainly pay well for it. What kind of information? Um, well, Uh, I guess anybody who might see a redhead, hair about this long, uh, and no redhead. Sorry. I said I like the occasional redhead. Mm, well, you know, if you happen, if if you um, if you see anybody unusual with that description. Um, and uh, I don't. Also, some hmm, maybe like a magic sword or um, or something that of that description. I don't know. Uh, we're we're trying to figure out exactly what happened. I guess I I um, we ha me and my friends have some ties to the Kavak, I should say. Uh, so. Um, that's uh, yeah. If if you spot anybody that's kind of like that, um, or you hear anything about unusual goings on in um, uh, uh, that that might ring a bell for you, I just want to. I don't want to let you know that we can get you money for it for sure. She looks at you quizzically and says, "Pit fighters aren't usually investigators as well." Well. You know, maybe you don't know quite about as much about me as you know, as I thought you did. But you probably will soon, sooner or later. Um, you know, I tell you, I tell you what, I want to mention this because it's not. Um, it could be any minute that my friends walk through this door. And uh, I just wanted to, before they do, 
I just want to tell you that um well I uh what's what's that expression that I heard I had a somebody who teased me with this one time uh we used to make jokes about it oh I I I like like, correct me if I'm saying this wrong, Pirate Queen, but uh, I, I like the cut of your jib, I think is the way it goes. And um, if, uh, if there's any way that um, I can help with um, this whole, uh, this whole um, uh, thing that you're, that you're dealing with, with your, your homeland, um, I, I definitely would, would like to help. Um, I, uh, I can't help but feel, well, not responsible, but just bad that, that, that that's happening. Um, and, uh, and in that respect, I think I just want to say you can trust me. And um, as for my friends, I think you can mostly trust them. Hmm. And I just wanted to say that as well. Um, mostly. If they happen, if they happen to to come, um, and uh, yeah, I think that. How soon are you leaving? Within the next day or so. I want to be there by week's end. Within the next day. And you have, you have many people, that here with you in the uh, in the Kava who are leaving with you. Your, your whole crew? My ship's crew is leaving, yes. I've got the rest of the fleet uh, joining me here, which is why we're not leaving until tomorrow. Let's see. I had to purchase grain from many of these governments. Not all of them are being easy taskmasters, is it all? Trying to get them to sell to me as cheap as possible, you know? Of course. Um... Well, I think that uh, I think there's a good chance that I will see you off when, in one way or another. Um, and uh, until then, yeah, be safe and keep an ear to the ground if you don't mind. I'll make it worth your while. Let me know if you ever want to go sailing. And she winks. Uh, Selexa so will finish her finish her drink and since yeah and she'll she'll head up and and head out. And I think that is where we will call today's session. Uh, if that's all right with everyone. Beautiful guys, lots of fun work there. That was awesome. Um, I have no idea how we're going to do experience without Calvin here, but whatever. We'll we'll do experience and we'll do Calvin experience. That makes sense, right? Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Um, okay. Selexa. Selexa. Um, let's see. Belief one. Solving Kasher's murder. Progress on that, I would say. Belief, uh, oh, Guiding Light Belief. Um, she has her own worth beyond just being important by birth. I don't, I don't know if that was a really a focus today. This is, uh, yeah, yeah I, I don't know. I I'm having, I'm having trouble justifying that right now. Yeah, so. I, I was gonna push it in that last conversation, but I, I didn't really, it didn't fit in quite perfectly, so. I okay, on. so I'm gonna pass on, on Guiding Light. Mm -hmm. um, belief to um, making a connection with Oceana, um, I feel like that was a success. 100%, okay. strong success. Yeah. Nova. Uh, well, I don't know that I did anything. Um, I, I don't think I threw myself into danger. Mm. I did not start investigating Recha yet. And mm. I also didn't go, uh, go help a little girl learn how to sword fight. So that, I think that's a wash for me. Wash for you. No problem. Happens sometimes. Timothy. Um, I did not jeopardize myself or the mission. Uh, 
I don't know that I acted quickly and decisively to show that we had nothing to do with Cashier's death, per se. Uh, and I'm going to give you partial credit on that. Um, it, I, mean, it, I think the narrative kind of swept us through that. So Yeah, I, I certainly agree that I, that sort of happened to you rather than you doing it. Yeah. But, um, at the same time, you volunteered immediately to, to, for the truth thing. You also volunteered immediately to give up your weapon and also volunteered immediately to investigate. Um, you were just like, gung-ho, yes, let's do that. Um, so I would be inclined to give you partial credit. I wouldn't give you like full credit because again, it happened to you rather than you doing it, but I'd give you a point for that. Okay, uh, and nothing for number two. Okay, and uh, Thea? Um, I don't think I worked on my beliefs, uh, finding homes for the brain shrimp and investigating Recha. I didn't do either of those. Okay, what about Guiding Light? Uh, Guiding Light, getting just closer to the team. I would give you a point for this, uh, for, and this is, this is maybe a stretch in my own mind, but uh, the fact that we had literally Caliban cast a spell and then give you the items so that you could cast his spell, like, to me, that feels a little bit like team bonding, especially with someone like Caliban. Yeah, that's pretty intimate. I them. Yeah, I, so I'd give you credit for that. Uh, can someone pull Caliban's police? I bet we can determine if he accomplished anything. What happened when you were here? Um, well, let's see. Okay, gu his guiding light, Caliban wants to gain and retain a position of political or religious power mm. so that he can popularize uh, slash impose his moral and religious beliefs. Okay, yeah. Uh, you guys think he was working towards that? I, I mean, I feel like um, he, uh, like this process of us investigating mm. is definitely one of us kind of like um, getting a measure of authority in in um, here that we, we have not. Yeah, I right? agree. So I think, and I think that he definitely leaned into that, so. Yep, I agree. Uh, what about his belief one? I think he may have accomplished that. What is belief one? His belief one is um, he thinks the party can single-handedly solve Kasher's mur murder and that they will rise quickly in the eyes of the accordance people. Caliban will work together with other party members to determine who killed Kasher and why. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I I'm going to give him full credit for that, two points, but um, understanding that, of course, what we have right now is a solid theory, not answers, and we don't know why yet. But still, I think that's still an accomplishment. And then what about belief two? Um, it was reaching out to his mom. Didn't I, happen. I don't think that happened. I agree. Um, sounds good. Okay. Uh, sounds good to me. Uh, yeah, that happens because uh, the narrative sort of pushed you guys a little bit this time. Um, the murder happened to you, not because of you. And so you, some of your beliefs got swept up in there. Happens sometimes. Right. But the murder did not happen to us. Right. That's true. Uh, the murder happened to your campaign. <laughs> uh, rather than because of you uh yes and all that good stuff guys uh thank you all so much for watching uh we have a great time doing this and i'm really glad that you uh are all enjoying this as well hold on what am i doing I don't go in there let's see if we can make something happen here um what is this doing why is this doing this okay and uh yeah, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed uh, the show. We certainly have fun doing this and uh, would love to um, get you to, uh, to, uh, to, to, to enjoy this as well. So uh, thank you so much. Please follow and subscribe. I'm totally, I don't know why I'm so flustered. There's no reason to be flustered. I'm flustered though. Okay, uh, yeah, please uh, like and subscribe as best you can. Follow us on social media. Uh, or whatever, and uh, take good care of your uh, life and your loved ones and those around you, and always, always, always remember to call your cat and feed your mom.